Hey, what's up guys? Jeff Pelizzaro at 18 Strong. And this is part two of our rounded shoulder series, our posture series. So if you didn't see the first video where we walked through some shoulder blade drills that you can do in a seated position to get you up and ready for your golf posture, go back and watch the other video. Today we're gonna to talk about basically a continuation of those drills and how to then progress into hitting a couple balls. So what we discussed was the importance of being able to control your shoulder blade up and down, back and forth in order to get a nice good posture for your golf swing. So I'm going to kind of jump right into the drills here and get you used to it so then you can, you, there's a familiar drill that you probably recognize, but this will give you an idea of why guys use that drill and how you can make that drill even better to really keep the connection with your upper body to your lower body. So again, I'm gonna take the ball and that's just to keep my hands together. I like to use a ball instead of using a club because then you won't get too caught up on positions or club face or anything like that. I want this to be about your body, not necessarily about what the club face is doing or any of those things. Um, that's more for your swing professional, your, your coach, but we're gonna work on what your body's doing. So here I'm gonna take the ball we're going to get into your stance position. And so if I were to stand sideways here, we talked about how most, or a lot of golfers, I shouldn't say most, a lot of golfers get into this rounded posture. So our goal is to pull those shoulder blades back, make sure we've got a little tension in the stomach, a little flatter back so we don't have that, that big S curve. We also don't have just that big rounded posture. So what you're going to do here, now that you've progressed from some of those other drills, is get into your stance posture and let's work on that shrug and depress motion again. So you're shrugging up to the ears and then you're depressing, you're pulling those shoulder blades down and back. Again, when you pull down and back, you're going to feel your elbows kind of want to pull into your body. You're going to feel like you've got little, you know, little Tyrannosaurus Rex arms kind of a thing. But that's what we're fighting here. You want to get the shoulder blades down and still feel comfortable where your arms can hang, you've got complete control there. So here's the first drill is just getting used to that shrug and depress. Now, once you feel like you're a little comfortable there, I want you to then work on really creating some separation of the arms from the body while keeping this intact. So then you're gonna get the shoulder blades down and I wanna see how high you can raise your arms without the shoulder blades raising up that way. So here, lock the shoulders down, just a little lift. You should feel a lot of tension right in here and then come back down. And again, not that any of this is to be done in the golf swing. It's just, you're learning how to control your body better, which will then kind of parlay into your swing and how well you control your body during your swing. So there's two, the first is shrug and depress, then the lifts, now I'm going to go forward and I want you to just get used to getting that position of the shoulder blades and now working on just a little bit of that rotation where now you're starting to feel how that shoulder blade helps to pull you into that first part of your rotation. And notice I've got that nice good triangle where my hands are still right in front of my chest. I'm feeling a lot of tension back here. So I'm not collapsing, I'm not letting my elbow bend. Hands are straight out in front of me, balls right in front of my chest, and I feel that shoulder blade working really hard. So you're gonna go out, I want you to hold it for a couple of seconds, come back in. Go out, hold for a couple of seconds, go back in and then do that to the other side. What you also might notice is, if you have trouble with your low back during your rounds of golf, this might be tiring for you. And this would be a very good drill to help you start to feel and work on the endurance of your low back there. All right, so how does this all play into the way that you hit a golf ball? Well, we've all seen the drill where especially, you know, guys are on the driving range, they're taking a glove and they put it under one arm or they put it under both arms. What they're trying to do is maintain that connection of their shoulder blades, their shoulders to their body. So they're trying to make sure that they don't get too crazy, you know, get their arms away from them, or especially when they swing that they're not just letting go and losing that connection here. So what we're going to do, and you can use a glove if you want or not, but you're going to use that little, that little trick, that little shoulder blade depression. And then I want you to just 
feel yourself hitting a couple balls with that feel. So again, you're just going to drop the shoulder blades and you're going to feel that same connection with your body. Just hitting some little punch shots, but I want you to feel how much more powerful that is when you've got your, your shoulder blades, your shoulders, everything connected through your trunk, through the legs to the ground. All right, so take those drills now that you've progressed from the seated ones, start to use those, and then hit a couple balls at the range or at your club using that feeling, getting that connection, and I think you'll notice a lot more change and improvement in your power. All right, train hard, practice smart, and play better golf.